You want bacon? Well, we got it here. I'm Kevin Gillespie, and this is The Bacon Show. I'm in Seattle, Washington, where the people's love of bacon has gone absolutely crazy. J&D Products, where they say that everything should taste like bacon, has created bacon salt, bacon mayonnaise, and disturbingly enough, even bacon lube. So I'm gonna go inside and meet Dave, one of the owners, and see what other kinds of crazy bacon inventions they've come up with. Hey, how's it going? I'm Kevin. Kevin, I'm Dave. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dave. Thanks so much for having me here at the uh, the Temple of Bacon, as it were. Thanks for coming. Really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Well, hey, I love bacon, but you guys have taken this to a whole new place. Tell me a little bit about how you even got started in this in this business. So we started this five years ago with five thousand bucks, and my kid won me in America's Funniest Home Videos. My kid actually <laughs> hit me in the face with a wiffle ball that funded the company, and we sold. I think it was like six thousand jars of bacon salt to people in twelve countries and twenty five states in five days, and just said, "Wow, we need to quit our jobs." The entrepreneurs and just said there's so much that we can make taste like bacon that's good that deserves to be made and we just kept doing it. We're living the bacon flavored American dream. I would love to see some of these things if they're here. You they're know? here, you can see them, you can taste them, you can roll around in them, you can do what you want. All right, don't tempt me with a good time. Right. I'm gonna follow you. All right. All right, follow me this way. Awesome. Well Dave, I have to say this is quite a spread here. We stock the temple with lots of goods and riches <laughs> and treasures for you. We have bacon pot microwave popcorn, Cheddar also bacon delicious. and regular bacon. Bacon ranch, which is delicious as a burger mix Sounds as well. Great. Bacon croutons. These have been a best selling item ever. It's in Walmart, it's in Kroger, it's all over the country, and they're doing really, really well. You want to get weird? All yeah, right, let's do let's it. Let's get weird. All right. Uh, we made bacon flavored envelopes. They're called envelopes. You lick the envelope glue, and it tastes like bacon. All right. Wow, that actually does taste it's like not bacon. Not bad, yeah, yeah. It's not bad. It's better it's than pretty clue. That's I'm sure. sending out all my correspondence at this point on this, and I'll take my fan mail, by the way, too. Lip balm that makes your lips taste like bacon. Obviously, I need this. This is a hit. Bacon flavored kisses. You want to start a kissing booth, whatever you want to do. <laughs> it's SPF 15, too. Bacon scented roses. See, that's nice. You know, that's classy. That's it's it. Classy. When you're in the doghouse, I mean, you could show up with roses, or you could show up with bacon scented roses. You gotta keep obviously. it classy. This is actually another item that does really well for us. It's uh, sunflower seeds that taste like bacon. Oh, you go whole seed, don't you? That's you just, right, dude. You just chow them all down. The whole thing's good. Great. Yeah. That's great. Rock and roll, baby. That's delicious, actually. All right, well, you know what I need a little bit of while I'm here? What's Got that? some bacon Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. holding back either. I don't need are a you going, Are you going spoon or fork or hand? Yeah. What are you doing here? Spoon right here. Spoon? All right. That's the only way you can get enough of You know wow. what? That's kind of a... Oh, that's aggressive. <laughs> mm. That's aggressive. I'm going to have a second one. Can Holy I keep cow. this? You can have it. Yeah, okay. take it on the plane with you. <laughs> Drink it if you want. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call out the elephant in the room here. Okay. Yeah. Bacon lube. Bacon lube. Why? <laughs> that was an April Fool's joke. And people, people thought, you know, people actually like kept on pestering us to make it. Please make it. Please make it. We had 5,000 people on the waiting list. And we're like, all right, we'll make 5,000 of them. And we ended up selling like 20,000 of them. So, I mean, for some reason there is a desire to combine breakfast and sex. I'm not sure. Bacon suit? Bacon suit. Uh, guaranteed to make you 200% more attractive to the opposite sex. So what works better, this or the bacon roses as far as like when you got to show up back at home, you're like, what's going on ladies? Both. Both. I'd Both. say the combination approach is really going to work. Keep this in your back pocket. Yeah, to my yeah. wife. Yeah. Sweetheart, I'm on my way home. <laughs> Hope you're ready for this. Is there anything else? Is there anything that goes beyond bacon soup, bacon roses, bacon lube? We're putting bacon into space. In fact, it's already been in space. We just need to retrieve the spacecraft, which landed near a forest fire. So we're, uh, we're working on that. There's really only so far you can take it. Space is the next one. You either have space or you have the grave. I guess that's about your only other option. Yeah, oh, we do have the grave. We got, we got you taken care of, actually. You need to come look at the bacon coffin. I'm taking these with me. Please. <laughs> wow. It was. You were not kidding. Not kidding, bacon coffin. BaconCoffins.com. That wasn't already taken? Weird. I know. Yeah, that's so that's crazy. Weird. There's bacon lovers that want to take it with them in the afterlife. We've uh, included a free bacon air fresher in here, just, <laughs> just in case, you know, just when you get that not so fresh right. dead feeling. Right, so, yeah. yeah. We've done you know, your family will be, will be thrilled to be able to put you to rest finally in something that represents your life's work and probably your eventual demise. It's a beautiful thing. Dave, thank you so much for yeah. having me, man. Pleasure. I really appreciate it. And I have one more question for you before okay. I get out of here. Give it to me. Can I take this thing for a test spin? Oh, absolutely, yeah, hop in. Awesome. Hop in. Well, this has certainly been one of the strangest days of my life. Hanging out with my buddy Dave of J&D's Foods, I've had a chance to see all the crazy things that the bacon world has to offer. And remember, if you want more bacon, you have to subscribe. So I'll see you next week. I could probably take a nap in this, it's not too bad. 
It's our party and we'll blow this up if we want to. Well, we actually did. Today's Why Would You Eat That menu features fried bull testicles. Watch what happens when we feed it to the office. Taste America's most expensive beer. Split an apple with your bare hands. Lose weight drinking Pepsi. Tune into the food feeder for all the news that's not fit to print. Watch dinosaur barbecue pitmaster John Stage on dude food for his easy to follow shrimp recipe with the New Orleans Swiss. The magic ingredient? Beer. Check out star chef Ilan Hall's seven secrets for an unforgettable burger. Oh, you're welcome. Why would you eat natto, also known as rancid stinky soybeans? Well, you wouldn't, but you can watch us hold our noses while we try to keep it down. Subscribe for free for more tasted treats.